What is going on everybody? Rogers Base here. Good morning. We just had the Honkai Star Rail 2.7 special program. A lot of you have already watched it. People were asking if I was going to do a live reaction to it. I've sort of learned my lesson after watching the past couple of those for Pentacony. I don't like being spoiled on story stuff, but I do feel like the trailers that are released during these special programs are usually safe to watch. And they dropped two this morning. They dropped a 2.7 story trailer and they also dropped the first character trailer for our first Remembrance character. Character. Super excited for this. I like everything that we're seeing about this new planet already. I like the Greek mythology aspect. I love her design. So, without any further ado, let us watch first the version 2.7 trailer. This one is titled A New Venture on the Eighth Dawn. Description's kind of interesting. Some will return, some will soon leave. The dreamscape is embroiled with murk and uncertainty. To behold the path ahead, one must learn to retrospect. Now seeing the English voices right here, we're gonna get the new Ting Yoon, we're gonna get the new Sunday. Very excited to see this. Hopefully we're gonna get some gameplay of Sunday in this. Let's see this. Version 2.7 trailer, three, two, one, go. All right, oh, let's see what this is all about. To the party I also loved all this stuff with Rappa. Would you like to have So this is good. I feel like this guy's been on a roll ever since Pentecost. It's party time. Party time, okay. Funky little bee. We may not be oh, we got some bath time filler? What was that? Now, <laughs> bath house please filler? Please feel free to relax and <laughs> unwind the here. Okay, great. The stars are numerous, and yet... Oh, here I she is. Scared. Okay. Looking good, too. Past life Looking now. really good. I'm glad she's going to be alive. Obviously, I know this isn't for you. This is Fugue or whatever her name is. But either way, I'm excited for her. I just, I love the look of, like, the cherry blossoms and everything. Looking cool, man. Whether I'll pull for her or not is dependent on my boy. Hold on. Who knows who the Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You need Show me gameplay for Sunday. Okay. Make his special be the giant final boss. To the stars. That's all I want. If I see that, bro, if I see it, I'm pulling for you. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Oh, and the, I forgot about this. The new Herta as well. Because she has a new form that they showed on Twitter a while ago. So this is all going to be part of the same update? Herta and Sunday? And Ting Yoon, the new venture of the eighth dawn. 2.7 is coming soon. Bro, they know what they're doing with this stuff. Also, what is this cosmic home decor guide? Giving a nameless means embarking on a journey. Wait, what is this Pomeranian game? They're flying through everything. We got like a little Animal Crossing mini game where you can design your room. You got the assistant director here too making more movies. Which by the way, I loved all of that stuff. All the stuff with Mr. Rekka and like, um, not the, what's the prehistoric dude's name? I forgot the prehistoric dude's name. But the guy from the Intelligentsia Guild. All that stuff was fun. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, God, great. This, so they're adding in a home decor thing. Sunday's going to be playable. Ting Yoon is coming back to life, technically. And we got Herta, and it's a new form. I thought, it was weird they teased it in the trailer, though, because I'm pretty sure we saw the new form on Twitter. I'm going to go back on Twitter after this and look. But otherwise, this seems great. Again, all the updates for Honkai have been very, very solid. I'm looking forward to this. However, however, the main event today is gotta be this. How do you say her name? Agalia or Aglia, the gold weaver? Uh, Amphorius, I do not call your name suddenly or without cause. I love that this video just dropped. It's already 16 on trending. I come here to recount history. The black tide of the end fell upon the land. Gods descended into madness and mortals turned their weapons on each other. Yet still there were heroes who chased the flames, leading the way to the grand undertaking of creation. In this world, they fused the burning golden ichor into their bodies. Will destiny remember their names in days to come? Oh, oh, what the heck is this? They got some whited out names here. All right. Memory slumbering at dusk. Please do not forget Amphorius's name. Again, it's the Remembrance planet. We've already seen Remembrance Trailblazer. So, makes sense, considering the whole thing, remember their names, do not forget them. The golden epic trailer, four minutes and 50 seconds, too. So, we're getting a pretty solid look at what this new planet's going to be like. All right, let's go. Show me more. In the legend's beginning, the world was pure chaos. Already love her voice. From then, frame one. the gods cast down the core flames, and the titans were born within. Oh, they're going to, okay. 
So they're implementing the Titans, Titans from Greek mythology too? The heavens and earth. Bitch! Oh, this is gonna be good, dude. Fate. This three is gonna be good. With life with their hands, and three guided calamities gate. The Titans blaze enlightened civilizations, uh -huh. and people of all realms thrived endlessly. This is so cool. I love what they're doing with the, the art here too. Age was fleeting, and from beyond the sky came the heretical Black Tide. Yes, the whole planet is gonna it's be like this. Hercules, death itself. Hmm. Driving the Titans what to madness <laughs> and the mortals <laughs> to mutual war. Uh oh, hey, two brute Then fall Caesar. The oh, dude, we're gonna have and flying blood Pegasi monsters. Heck yes, dude. As the gods waged war, the sun itself grew quiet in all. This game is peak, man. I love Star Rail. I've been saying this. It's my Left favorite the oil shattered now. world. They just they and put in the work. And everything feels so different. And coming off a of Pentacony. This is great. The cool flames flickered and dimmed, and the age of the gods met its end. Right. Golden blood fell to the ground as a distant prophecy resounded. Flow, golden blood, flow. Seems almost a little elderly esque too, the doesn't it? River that flows to the, the golden blood of this world. You know the boss for this area is going to be Aglaia so sick. The oh, there she is. Aglaia is how you say her name. The holy city's silken web and hearken to the sounds oh, and voices of destiny. interesting. She's got everybody on strings? There shall be the three-faced messenger traversing from Miriam. There's a bunch of characters. What is this? To you from hundreds of worlds. Are those meant to be Cupid or something? Foolish, has enough knowledge to okay. receive faith and to stir up a torrent capable of slaying gods. He looks almost like a Genshin character. <laughs> Go seek the priest who severs dawn from Oh, dust. people are gonna love her! The sky become the sun from which she wakes. Ooh, Ooh I wonder if that... Mm. Oh, dude, what is this? The Dude's got a lion! Is blood. This man's the god of war? Her in motion, cipher okay. Oh, okay, you got a cat ninja girl too? Interesting. And that servant of the hand shadow, the daughter of River. The daughter Styx. of the River Styx, or this is like our underworld character. If you grant her the right to embrace, ooh, then she kind of looks like Black Swan a little bit. We'll sleep peacefully at her Okay, her and she's gonna be cryo. All right. You will hear the Interesting. Sound of the abyss reverberating through the storm. Okay. You will see I'm assuming this is the Poseidon type character. Visiting under the veil of gloom. This is cool, man. End. When the I didn't think we were going to see all of this during this. And the nameless new king ascends the throne alongside countless heroes. Oh. To embark the on the music, man! The hype of all of this! The grand mission of deliverance! I gaze towards the distant future. Wow! The sun shall edge the Yeah, man, Hawkeye Star Rail stepping it up. The children oh, of humankind, so known as the Chrysos Ars, the Chrysos shall pluck Ars. the gods' cool flames, and once more... The Fire Lion, the dude! It might be my favorite. The flame oh, wait, the Cat Ninja actually looks kind of cute, too. Oh, I love her. The Underworld Girl, I love her. Among which, even life itself... And we got the other mystery ones, okay? And the final flame of remembrance. Therefore, we cast even ourselves into the flame. Mm. Oh, Only dude. To if this the planet's, like, in the clouds, and you've got the giant... In the poem of Grecian creation. things all over the place. This is cool, man. I am excited for this. Honkai Star Rail. Great. Great, great, great. Yeah, my favorites real quick. Oh, hold on. Is there going to be more? Wait. Most heroes' journeys in the oh, universe are just... This is the new Herta. We were going to go pull it up. Here she is. Will your answer be any different, Amphorius? But I'm wondering... I'm wondering if they're going to fold her into the main story. Of course, this will be a romantic story like none that has come before. Okay. You think so too, right? What? Can I have some romance thrown in there too? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Real quick though, what I was going to do, I wanted to let that thing play out. I want to see the little glimpses of these characters again. Also, this little bit right here with this, with the bird flying, the and then the wing getting shot off. Part of me... 
and you guys know this, for those of you who played Penacony, part of me is wondering if that's gonna be a story tie with Robin and with Sunday, because obviously I know Penacony's ending, we're going into the new area, but they're now making Sunday playable. And the whole thing like with the clipping of the wings and the, and the birds dying and stuff, I wonder if maybe they're gonna tie Robin and Sunday into the story as well with this little teaser image of the bird and the God of War. And let the sky become Because this is when you get the transition into the stuff with the God of War character. And you get the arrows. Like, I, that would be crazy, dude. If we enter this new planet and we just get Sunday as a main character and he's coming along with the squad and then God of War comes out and boom, snipes him, takes him down to the ground and then causes war. Oh, man. My Demos the Undying, bro. He is cool. I really, really like him. I feel like... That's the cool thing about Honkai Star Rail, too, I feel like compared to some of these other Hoyo games, is when they do the cool guy characters, they actually make them look beastly. They're not like... I, they're, I, I can't even explain it. I can't really explain why they look better in Star Rail than they do in Genshin. I feel like Zhang Li is the perfect kind of character in Genshin to encapsulate kind of like that manly anime, but also still cool and like handsome where all the girls love him kind of character. Dude, this guy right here seems awesome. I, he's up there with Argenti and Dr. Ratio and Welt and Sunday to be fair. Awesome, dude. I love this dude. And then the underworld girl. Also again, yes, the enemy's king. I want to go back to the cat girl as well too because the cat girl looks super different in her little teaser here versus how she looked at the ending. Like here she kind of looks again like a little bit like a Genshin character but then when you see her in the other frame a little bit later on she's got like the, the smirk on her face and she looks kind of twisted. She's going to be neat. She's going to be neat. Yeah, I love this group of characters and this girl right here. The underworld girl from the River Styx. If you grant her the right to embrace. I just, I love the theming death, of this planet. We'll Again, we knew it was going to be Grecian depths. themed from the way they were talking about it and the little teasers they were dropping on social media. Poseidon guy looks cool too. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I think if I want to, I want to skip back to the end again. Where you see all of their, all their faces. Yeah, sh these look, man, these characters look great. And I feel like there is something for everybody within these characters. Because you guys know I'm not a big fan of like the the Klee kind of archetype characters, but you've got the character to pull for there. You've got this like brooding dude over here with the eye patch. Yeah, this dude's this dude's awesome. He's This whole line of three at the ending, which I'm assuming are gonna be like three of the characters that enter later on. I like all three of them. She's even got the little cat tooth. Dude, and again, the way they're utilizing the art. I just, I love this. The art direction is so cool here. And then like telling the story of the universe and referring to them as Titans and everything. I, I dig it. The golden age, man. The golden epic trailer. Amphorius, the saga of heroes. Man, I'm all in. I can't wait for the new planet. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of all of this. I am supremely excited to get started. Obviously, I streamed the entire Face Shao thing here on the main channel. I did a lot of the Rappa stuff over on my VOD channel. This is gonna be main channel content. Like, whenever there's a new big planet in Star Rail, we're gonna play it on the main channel. We're gonna stream it on the main channel probably the night that it comes out. My assumption is it's gonna come out probably like, what, this the beginning of this new planet's gonna be like December-ish? December-ish or like January? Either way, I'm there. Can't wait to try it out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone.